Hello Corkies, today I am trying my hand at a unique coffee treat. It is popular in Japan currently, but it originated in the United Kingdom from what I can tell. It is coffee jelly, so stick around for this how-to. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to CorkandJava.com. We are your go-to place for coffee and wine reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified when all our future videos come out. So today I am trying coffee jelly. Now I've actually never had this, and from what I can tell, it's really easy to make. You only need a few ingredients. Um, so what you're going to want is um, obviously a stove to prepare the gelatin, but you'll need a cup of brewed coffee. Uh, you can brew your coffee however you'd like, just make it a little bit extra stronger than usual just so that coffee flavor really comes through. Um, we also have these packets of unflavored gelatin. I have the Walmart brand, I guess, but the Knox gelatin is also pretty much available everywhere if you're in America. Um, and then you'll need a little bit of granulated sugar uh, just to sweeten it. So what you'll do is, so I have a fourth cup of cool or cold water and you'll want a tablespoon of the gelatin to mix. All right, so you've got a tablespoon of the gelatin and you'll just mix it, just mix it in so that it's really smooth. So, um, then you'll take your cup of brewed coffee. We use the French press to brew ours. I'm gonna throw it on this back burner here. And what you're gonna wanna do is just um, mix the coffee and the um, gelatin concoction. Until you've got a low boil, you don't need to really overheat it. As well, uh, you'll take a tablespoon of your granulated sugar just to sweeten it a little bit. If you don't want, so this treat is a dessert, so if you don't want it to be sweet, you can obviously skip this step. You'll just add it right in there. Let the heat dissolve this. Just let that come to a boil and then take it off the burner once you've got a boil going. All right, so we've got our boil going. So what I'm gonna do is just take it off the heat. You want it to cool down before you put it in your molds. And for, the, for this part, you can use whatever kind of molds you want. You can just use ice cube trays. We have these cool um, ice molds that we got off Amazon. We can leave a link in the description so you can pick these up too. Um, we actually use these for cocktails more than anything else. Um, they look really cool um, in a cocktail. And we also have these like bigger um, ice cube trays. Um, again, we use these for cocktails, but it's going to work kind of cool for this purpose as well. It might take a little bit longer for the jelly to set, um, and make it so that like it's actual jello. Give it a few minutes to cool down. We don't want to pour the hot coffee into, um, our molds. So take another minute and we'll be back. Okay. So our coffee has cooled. So what I'm going to do is just pour it back into the measuring cup so that it's a little bit easier to pour into the molds. You guys know, I always make a mess when I'm pouring things. I will, this will probably not be an exception to the rule. I'm sure that I will make a mess. Um, but hopefully this will be a little bit easier. <laughs> so I've got just a little bit left. I'm just going to pour it into one of the molds here not even going to be a full one. Um, you can throw this in the freezer for a half hour or so, um, especially if you have smaller trays, it should be good. Um, since we're doing this overnight, there's no rush. We're just going to pop it in the fridge. Probably takes a few hours if you put it in the fridge to, um, to become like the jelly texture that you're looking for. Um, but I am just throwing these in overnight and we'll see how they look tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's the next morning. I am gonna see how they fare coming out of our molds. Just have a little uh, blast here. Let's make bets on if it comes out smoothly or not. Okay, I'll say that it will. I'm thinking that it's gonna be in two halves when you pull that apart. Okay. Which is still okay. Like, 
still scooping chunks will look really cool too. You were right. I win. <laughs> okay. Ta da! Nice. When you're ready to serve it as well, is just add some whipped cream on top, Cool Whip, whatever you like. You can make your own. Uh, of course, if you like the fresh homemade stuff with the heavy whipped cream. Um, I'm just gonna add a little dollop here. Looks almost like a coffee bean. at two halves. Mm-hmm. That like jiggles. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I should say that I've seen this made where you have it in coffee or in like heavy whipping cream and coffee. So um, there are people that like to drink that. It's almost like boba where you drink and you chew the coffee jelly. Um, but this is just a different way, another way uh, to prepare it. So try a little piece here. Let's see how it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's so weird to have coffee in your mouth as this texture. Like it's like jiggling around in there, but it's good. I mean, it's just like coffee jello basically. Um, definitely make it strong. Brew the coffee strong so that it's more concentrated and more flavorful. Um, this is really good though. And it's good with the little dash of sweetness with the whipped cream. It's weird, but it's good. <laughs> uh, leave a comment below if you have made coffee jelly and what you thought of it. I'd love to know how others think it is. Uh, also, guys, make sure that you find us online. We are on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. There's great content and great community in all those spots, so don't miss out. We are looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time, bottoms up.